Hey everybody, we're listening to Person Pitch by Panda Bear today. Finally getting back around to more of the Animal Collective side of things. <laughs> Even though this isn't Animal Collective, this is one of the members of Animal Collective, as I'm sure most of you know. Zero clue what to expect. I mean, I have heard one Panda Bear album and it's reset. It's it's a pretty alright album. And that sounded pretty similar to Animal Collective, so I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. If it's going to be more like Animal Collective or it's going to be its own weird thing. This, this album has gotten a lot of attention. A lot of people like it. I hope I like it. I really like most of the Animal Collective stuff I've heard. As always, I'm excited to do this. Don't really have too much else to say, so let's do it. Okay. I'm already into it. Good time. <laughs> This is such a weird opener. What the fuck? I, I actually have no idea what to make of that. Lyrically, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't really feeling that all that much. I mean, it, it, there were some cool parts. And it definitely developed a little bit, but it didn't really, like, didn't go that extra mile that some of the Animal Collective songs have done. Not necessarily bad, I just, I don't know, I wasn't really feeling it, but, I'm you know, I don't even want to, I don't even want to say too much yet, because I feel like that was just setting up the vibe of the album. I don't know, I... This is so strange so far. I really like the harmonies here. Ooh, okay. Very fucking weird, but I'm kind of getting it. Is that an elevator? I think it was an elevator. Okay, this is... This is a lot to wrap my brain around. I... <laughs> I can tell you I definitely like that one more than the first song. I think the, the strongest part of this album so far is the vibe it's creating. I'm getting into it. I really liked all the certain weird fucking effects that were going on throughout that song. I closed my eyes and I was kind of picturing like walking through a forest. I like how the song lyrically is kind of about, it seems medicated drugs? It seems kind of about the struggle whether or not you need them, I guess. So far, something isn't clicking with me and I don't know what it is. There, it's definitely good, and I'm enjoying it. I again, I really like that last song. I think there were some de some really cool parts, but I mean, we're only on track two. We're only on track two. I don't know. This is this is a very weird one so far. Very very weird. But here we have a 12 and a half minute song. So let's see. <laughs> Woo. Woo.
It's a very cheery sounding album so far. This is a pretty hypnotizing listen so far though. I can definitely give it that. Nice melody. Hold on. I just need to like pause this for a second because this is genuinely s confusing my brain so much. <laughs> Why is this so weird to me? Why is it so weird? I think the, the best way for me to experience this album right now is just kind of like closing my eyes and trying to get lost in all the sounds because I don't know, I, I just need to get used to this like setting, I guess. I don't know, I don't know. Oh! Okay, I'm starting to feel it. Okay, I actually am starting to really like this. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? Uh, 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 Is it over? That 12 minutes went by so fast. Okay. I think I'm starting to get it. I'm sorry if I didn't say as much there. I really wanted to like try and understand what was going on. Cause it, it, for some reason this is just hitting me in a really strange way. But I think I get the vibe it's going for. It's not trying to blow your mind with huge explosions or any crazy shit. It's just trying to, it's just trying to bring you into this little world, you know? Like the more I just sat there, closed my eyes and kind of just like felt it, the more I started to get it. I honestly ended up really liking that track. Just not ex what I expected at all from this album. I, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect, but this is just, I'd say, Maybe not weirder than an animal collective, but just very different in its own way. I, you could definitely ha you definitely hear the similarities, but there's just something that's striking me that's just different. What I was kind of imagining was just like walking through a forest, just glancing at the lyrics here. It kind of looks like it's a song about his brother trying to like differentiate himself from his brother, or trying to be his own person. Let's just keep going. I'm still chugging along here, a little confused, but I think I'm getting it a little more. Oh, interesting rhythm switch there. It's like a false sense of security. They always have the best harmonies, Panda Bear and just Animal Collective as a whole. Man, 
man, this is so weird. I cannot stop thinking about that. I don't think that was as good as the last track for me personally because I think it just got a little too repetitive. I did really think that that one loop was really pretty and I liked the harmonies a lot. Just kind of felt a little directionless, at least to me. I don't really know what else to say. It's it's just a just a really weird sound. <laughs> just I don't know, am I the only one in like just being super weirded out by this? I feel like it's, it's interesting. It's very interesting to say the least. Way to confuse me even more. Okay, that is really cool. But all of a sudden we're just going tribal, apparently. What is he even saying? This is easily some of the most experimental stuff I've heard in a while. That was cool. Okay, that was that was pretty fucking sick. This part is so weird. Fuck. This is so weird. I can't. I can't. And now we're somewhere completely different. This gives me Beatles vibes. A little bit. Okay, there was a lot of moving parts to that one. <laughs> I think my least favorite part of the song was the first bit. As cool as there was, there were some really cool parts. There was the parts that kind of stuck stuck out a little weird to me. But then as it kind of got into the second half of the song, and even the third part of the song, it really started to kind of reveal itself. Just such a weird trip with so many sound effects. There's a lot of harmonies, just a lot of weird shit. <laughs> Oh, interesting. So reading the genius annotation. Obviously, genius annotations aren't always right. But if this is true, this is interesting. Because it says, in, in reference to the first lyrics in the song, it says, this is most likely Noah reacting to all of his friends and family, telling him everything's going to be fine after he had a bit of a freak out on the previous track. 
in which Lennox initially claims he's not ready to have a child. If there's a sort of running concept, that might be able to kind of help glue this together for me a little more as well. This album, lyrically at least, from what I picked up on, it seems to be about family, friends, events in life, which is not super far off from Animal Collective, but I think that the way he's going about it is a lot more personal, it seems. I still overall think this was a good track. It's, again, just a lot to take in. I did really like the ending. It, super Beatles-esque. But yeah, okay. I think only two more songs. How are we almost done? <laughs> Someone bowling? This this album's super psychedelic, by the way. Like, insanely psychedelic. <laughs> At least to me. What is happening? What I can say about this so far is this builds an atmosphere. This is such a trip. I don't even, I just, I don't know. What the fuck do I even make of that? That felt like an interlude, like a long-ass interlude. This feels like one of the weirdest albums I've ever heard. And I feel like it's not even that weird. I just am just that caught off guard by it. I don't know. I don't know. Pretty interesting interlude. Some cool stuff going on there. Pretty hypnotizing. Strange. It's just strange. <laughs> Wow, and it's just over like that. It's... <sighs> okay, well, I can not say that was a nice little ending to the album. Felt... Felt pretty relaxed, I don't know. But, okay, just overall, like... I will say, as the album kept going, I think I started to get it a little more. But at the same time, I'm sitting here with the album done, and I'm just so confused. I definitely enjoyed it. I think there's some moments that I didn't really fully grasp on, and that's why I think I'm going to try and sit with this one for a while, listen to it a lot of times before I actually give a final, you know, opinion on it. Because right now I genuinely cannot tell you, like, what I think of this album. I can tell you I think I liked it overall, even if some moments didn't click with me. Definitely reminiscent of Animal Collective, but at the same time it's nothing like Animal Collective. I liked a lot of the production, I liked a lot of the sounds. The sound effects were probably a big highlight of the album. I can tell you right now, easily my favorite is Bros. I really, really loved how hypnotizing and kind of enveloping it, that song was and how it just kind of took me on this own just journey, you know? That was really cool. And I think that was my favorite moment because it was something I was really trying to get used to, but it worked really well on that track. Lyrically, this also seems like a really cool album too. This is definitely one of the more strange videos I've made just because of how left field this album was to me. But uh, I'm just gonna hand the rest to my future self because I think, I think future me is gonna be able to explain it a lot better than present me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, yeah. So after my very confusing first listen, I think I know how I feel about this. Honestly, it's kind of a hit or miss album for me. I think moments like Bros and even uh, Good Girl, Carrots, or whatever, those are like amazing songs. I think those are really cool, the way they progress. Especially Bros, That's I genuinely think that song is incredible. But still, the first song, and also I'm Not and Search for Delicious, really don't do much for me. I get the vibe and I totally understand why people would like them, but it's just, it's just not really landing for me personally. 
So even though I'm a bit mixed on this album, I still enjoyed it overall, and I'm so really glad I checked it out because it is unlike anything I've ever heard before, like totally different. Keep in mind, this is just my opinion, and this all may change in the future, but that's kind of how I'm feeling about it right now. My score for right now for this album would be a 6.6 out of 10. Is it a hot take? Maybe a little bit, but, uh, but again, it's just me. Still hope you all enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you sticking around to the end. The next video will be The Glowing Man by Swans. I know a lot of people have been wanting that one, so I'm gonna do that one. I will see you all in the next one.